in that March 25th tornado. And here in the Weather Center with yeah. two news meteorologists, George Flickinger and Georgie, were just telling me you were driving around more uh, over the weekend and saw the damage from that recent tornado. And you could also see a lot of people that looked like they had recently put in storm shelters. So, uh, yeah, good thing in that town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of new construction mm -hmm. from those. As far as our weather here, I don't think you'll need your storm shelter today, but you will need your umbrella as we'll be tracking wet weather. So it also includes your children getting your family ready for school early on this Monday morning. Make sure your children have an umbrella, especially if they're walking to school. Most likely we'll need it by this afternoon. Not that much rain around this morning, but still enough to where we have the wet weather. Temps in the 50s all day. Probably want to send your children with a jacket too as they're running a bit cool. Storm shield radar shows we have rain falling right here in Tulsa County. Areas of light green are these pockets of the light rain which have developed in the last hour. You can see the rain from Tulsa up toward Owasso and Sky Took. Also the rain through much of Osage County and up toward Bartlesville. As far as our local area looking up toward Bartlesville, that's where there's a pocket of a little heavier rain. Bartlesville into Nevada. Also you can see the rain and sprinkles near Muskogee out toward Grand Lake. Now overall we're going to see the rain increasing by late this afternoon and tonight as there's a low pressure area out towards southwest Oklahoma and in West Texas. By the way, this is really good news for southwestern Oklahoma, which has been especially dry over the last few years with the drought. They are getting some beneficial rains this morning. But as this low, which is located in here, as this starts to head our direction, we will see rain increasing late tonight, and you also may wake up to thunder in the middle of the night tonight. So to sum up your weather today, certainly want to have your umbrella with you. Temps remaining cool all day in the 50s under the cloudy skies. We're going to see a range of rain totals just depending on exactly where the heavier band set up. As far as the lighter amounts, a quarter of an inch, we are going to see a few totals near two inches, especially as you work your way down toward the south. We will see all of the rain ending by tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. The weather should be pretty nice for you. As far as the temps right now, we're in the 50s and we're going to remain in the 50s for most of of the day. Could see a few 60s showing up at the trend. It's going to remain cool with those 50s. 54 and prior right now. Bartlesville is at 51. Here's a live look as we look out over Midtown Tulsa. If you're driving out in the next hour, you'll be driving through some of the light rain. Not a big deal here in Tulsa, but you'll have the windshield wipers going. Temps in the mid 50s at 55, and the wind is coming in at 6 miles an hour. We'll take a look at the future track and advancing this into 7 p.m. tonight. You can see these batches of light to moderate rain. This is not severe and not going to be severe. So you could just leave your car outside and you won't have to worry about any storm damage from the areas of rain and thunder. 10 p.m. tonight, future track is still showing rain across northeastern Oklahoma. By this time tomorrow morning, we'll still see some showers, but the trend is that the rain will be gradually tapering off. Then as we go throughout the day tomorrow, drier weather, though there will be some rain still showing up to our south. So for today, I, I don't know if I would call today a complete washout as it's not going to be solid rain, but it will at least be occasional rain. Cloudy skies are remaining cool, highs in the upper 50s, and then tonight, just about the same forecast. Occasional rain and thunder, and with the rain, it's going to feel quite cool with lows in the 40s. Their seven-day forecast shows an improvement for your outdoor adventuring. Tomorrow afternoon, drier weather. We'll see highs in the 60s. Then by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we'll have plenty of sunshine. The grass will be growing. With the warmer weather, temps reaching the 70s and nearing 80 degrees for Saturday and Sunday. Max, that's going to be a nice weekend. George, looking forward to that. Thank you very much. 518 now on your Monday morning.